Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today, we're going to just be doing, I don't even know, something that just hits us. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know it's going to be cute. <laughs> and I wanted to use the Huda Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette. I'm also going to use the Huda Foundation because I haven't used it in a while. And it is Huda Lip. So it's going to be kind of a Huda um, inspired tutorial, but it's not going to be like a one brand tutorial because I don't have like the concealers and all those kinds of things in Huda. But I was just thinking about doing something with Huda. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be a really cute look, I promise you. Something sultry, I'm thinking. So if you are interested in seeing what we come up with, then stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey. Hey, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed to my channel. Like, comment below. Thank you so much for your support and thank you for watching. Let's get in the lab. Bye. Alright beauties, let's get started on this look. Look, let's get started on this look. Alright, so I'm going to start off with brows because I think I'm going to do the eyes first. Even though I don't know what I'm doing, we're going to do something beautiful beautiful I just feel it in my soul so to start off with the brows I'm going in with Beauty Shield Antioxidant Powder from e.l.f. and I use the color Sheer Golden I actually need to order more I did not know I was going to fall in love with this powder the way I have but it is seriously one of my favorite powders so I'm actually about to order some more like soon as I'm done with this because I didn't realize I was low this powder is really really good brush that up and around all right I like to do that because if you do this with your brows it helps it from getting greasy later on and it also leaves a little texture there I feel like in my opinion um, where if you have sparse brows it's going to help the product I hear and not look all like it's on a balding part of your your um, brow it'll kind of give it some texture there so I just start off by going in with product like this just building the brow Then once that's done, I go brushing in through the brow. And then after that, I start to line the brow. And when I start to line the brow, I like to pinch the brush like this and then go in and start lining because you need that to be as thin as possible so your line will be straight. All right, and we got one brow done, y'all. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute. We just got to clean it up, but we're going to do the other brow now. The brow products that we're using are from the crayon case, and this is the brow pomade in dark brown and the brow brush. To clean up the brows, I'm going into Fenty Beauty Concealer in 330. And I'm using a number four Showstoppers Beauty Brush. Alright, snatched the brows. Now it's time to go in and we're going to create a look. I'm going in with the P. Louise Space in the room or two. And I'm going to blend that all across my lid. Alright. 
it's looking good y'all it's looking good let's go ahead and go into our huda beauty um textured neutrals or textured shadow rose gold edition palette this is how the palette looks it's a very very pretty palette and we're about to just dig in honey i don't know what i'm doing at all but i'm ready for the challenge so I'm going to go in with this color called Man Eater. And I'm just going to line out here. Like that. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna go into this pink flamingo and blend out the edges. That looks good. Now I'm gonna go into shy. I'm going to blend that above where I just blended the other colors. And I'm going to go in with this cocoa color. I'm going to blend that right around, just the, right around the edges. All right, that's good. So I know this is looking a little crazy, but we're about to cut into it and it's about to start linking scents. I'm going to add some more Louise space and carve out this crease. I'm going to go in with the Showstoppers Beauty number two brush. I'm going to go in with this crayon case number two brush and I'm going to go back in to the man eater red color and apply that. And I want to carve out an area right into the center. I was trying to figure out what color I want to do. Okay, so I think I'm going to do pink. Let's do pink. So I'm going to go in with this flamingo color. And I'm going to go into the center of my lid here. Now I'm going to use this brush here. This is a crown brush. I got this from an Ipsy bag. And I'm going to go into the color called Moon Dust. I'm going to apply that into the naked area here.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my lash glue. This is Lash Duo Glue, and I'm gonna use that to apply some glitters. For, for the glitters, for today we're gonna be using this pink glitter here and mixing it with this pink glitter here. Then start to apply the glitter. The glitter. I'm using the small glitter first. The fine glitter, excuse me. And then I'm gonna mix in the chunky glitter. For the chunky glitter, I have to keep my eye open when I apply it because I have hooded lids and you won't be able to see it if I close my eye. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of glitter on top of this. Okay, so that's looking good, that looks pretty. Now I'm also gonna mix in this little pink glitter here. It's like a more light iridescent one. And just to add a little bit of layer to it, I'm gonna add that. Alright, that is pretty. I love that. Okay, I want to actually deepen up the sides just a little. So let's do that first. And I'm going to go into this red here and mix it with a little bit of black, just a tiny bit of black. And just blend that on the out part. And then blend that around. Now let's go ahead and start getting into this face. And we can get back to the eyes. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. Matte Oil Control Lotion. E.l.f. Poreless Primer. Now we're going in with the Huda Beauty Foundation in the color Gingerbread. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty 330. and rich chocolate and elf. That's good. Now we're going back in with the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Powder. And this is the e.l.f. Bronzer in the color Deep.
Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna go in with my palette here once again. And now we're gonna blend the under eye. So I'm gonna go in with this red color and blend it right underneath on the lash line. And I'm gonna blend that out with this pink flamingo. And bring the flamingo up, then go into cocoa and go right underneath the lash line for that. That's good. Now I'm gonna put some P. Louise base in my waterline. That is good. I'm loving, loving, loving that. Then I'm gonna go into the pink flamingo and I think I'm gonna add that to my waterline. Gonna add some mascara. Then we're gonna add some really dramatic lashes. So I'm gonna get the lashes ready while we continue with the face. Going into Celeste Los Angeles. I'm gonna go into Diamond right there. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's blend away this powder. Go into the blush. This is Elf Always Rosy. Go into Honor Roll Highlighter. I'm gonna blend that out with this big fluffy brush. For inner corner, I'm going into the Crayon Case Contourition Book. There's a highlight in here called Pink Me. I'm going to go into that color. And now we're going to add the lashes. All right. Now we're going in with the lip. We're going in with Huda Beauty Bombshell. I think this is Dante from Lena Lashes. Now we're going in with Bombshell. Then going in with Ritzy, which is the lip. I'm going to add a little bit of Pink Me highlighter now. Oh, that's my blush brush. All right, beauty, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun creating this look. I didn't know what I was creating. I just knew I wanted to play in some glitter and do something really cute. And it came out Valentine's Day. So is it too early for Valentine's Day? Should we name it that? That I think that's going to be the title of the video. Because this is definitely screaming Valentine's Day. And when it was done, I had to put on my heart earrings because I was like, you know what? This is just screaming Valentine's Day and I had to go ahead and put on my pink blazer just to put it all together so you can actually see it come together and 
I'm so here for it. If you are going out for Valentine's Day, slay this, y'all. Slay this, okay? Let me know if you guys are feeling this look like I am. Give me a like if you do like it. Comment below. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this look and the new content that's been coming. Don't forget to share these videos so other people can see how to get these looks. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey. Hey, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to be your own kind of beautiful because there's only one you. Bye.